today I am back at it again with a ton of more DIYs you're going to love that can easily be put together for this fall season. Have you seen these fall trees that are everywhere? You can buy them on Amazon, but they can be super pricey, even for the small tabletop ones. And I knew I could use Dollar Tree items to make this um, very easily at home on a budget. So all I'm using are some of the Dollar Tree leaf floral picks, as well as a Dollar Tree circle and then a dowel rod. Now you can use the toilet plunger handle from Dollar Tree if you want to keep this a Dollar Tree DIY, but I just picked up a long dowel rod from Walmart and cut it down to the perfect size. So I am adding a screw in the bottom because I know hot glue is not going to hold up this large wooden stick with the leaves on the top so I did take the time to put in a screw but the real trick here is to cover this dowel rod with some painters tape or masking tape and the key here is to make it look a little bit rough and bumpy like real tree bark so I'm just kind of going up and down and letting it stick together a little bit to create such a thick texture to make it look more realistic but this is also going to blend in as taping all of those branches to the top. So this is the first time that I have made something like this. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I started by taping on one of the leaf floral picks for the top. And then I discovered that you actually can tape on multiples at the same time. So if I was redoing this, I would go ahead and stick like three to four bunches just sticking up straight at the top. But you can see that I'm just trying to figure it out. So I just tape them on one by one. And then I'll be doing a second layer at the bottom. But the more floral picks that you use the more leaves that you're adding it's going to make it look so much nicer and make it look really full and then for the second layer I'm just sticking them a few inches below that all together all the way around and then taping these down really tight and then you'll be able to just kind of spread them out and shape it into more of a tree A lot of the bases I was seeing online did have black bottoms, but I thought the brown matched more of my style and just had that cozy fall look to it. If you do have a lot of black in your home, it would also look really good. But I'm going ahead and painting the tape. I did do a couple of different coats and I am using chalk paint, so it's really thick. I'm going to get a lot of good coverage and not take a ton of coats of paint. And this adds so much fall color into your home. You can enjoy this all day, add string lights to it, and enjoy a fun ambiance at night. But I think it is so cozy and perfect for fall decor. When I first saw these long like cylinder foam pieces at Dollar Tree, I didn't know what I would ever use them for. So if you have any fun ideas, leave them down in the comments down below or if what you know what their intended use is for. But I thought it'd be fun to make these into some mini marshmallows. This will go perfect on a tiered tray, especially if you want to put together like a little s'mores fall tray. But I cut the uh, little cylinder down into small marshmallows and then I painted them white and then using some sticks from the yard, I just cut these down inserted it into the styrofoam, tied some little ribbon at the bottom, and these look like the perfect little campfire marshmallows, and I just love how they turned out. I've seen people like put chocolate on the marshmallows, but I just left them plain to look like toasted marshmallows, but I think they are super cute. Next up, I wanted to use these wooden planks from Dollar Tree to create like a really slim floral box. So this turned out even better than expected. This is perfect for like a windowsill or somewhere you don't have a lot of space, but it's going to bring in a lot of fall color, adding in all of the florals and leaves or any type of flower that you would like. I needed to be able to stuff a little flower down in here, so I needed um, that little bit of space in between the two boards. So I'm filling it with these little wooden blocks from Dollar Tree, gluing the top on, and you can see it has the perfect little slot to stuff some flowers in. So I hot glue this together and then paint it white and add a little leather tag to the front.
these are some of my favorite floral picks from Dollar Tree. I think they look so gorgeous in there. They kind of have like a vintage look, so they look really, really pretty, those small little sunflowers. But like I mentioned, perfect to put in a windowsill or anywhere that you have like a smaller space. Next, I'm putting together a super cute wall hanging, or this could even be a door hanging under a covered porch. I'm using two of the Dollar Tree circles. I have some leftover sum summer circle signs, so that's what I'm using alongside a fall one. The first thing I do is cut one of them in half. Now, I never get this perfect, but you can easily cut away the excess and then sand it down. And then I'm painting this with some mineral colored chalk paint. I made one of these similar in the summertime, and I loved it. It was one of my favorite pieces and a lot of you guys loved it so I knew I had to make a fall version. I'm going to fill this full of flowers. So kind of like before, I needed some space to stick my little stems down in. So using some tower blocks, glue that down in place, and this is gonna elevate it. I did put the two holes at the top that had the jute twine hanger. I turned it so those were hidden at the bottom. And then using one of the leather words from Dollar Tree, I used Grateful. And I stuck it at the top at first, and I started filling this full of flowers. And then I discovered that I, I couldn't really cover it over, so I moved it to the bottom, and then I could add in taller flowers, and it worked even better. Dollar Tree is going to be putting out their winter and Christmas stuff soon alongside their gloves and socks and these leg warmers. Grab them when you see them as early as you can. You can actually cover one of these styrofoam pumpkins with it and it looks like a high-end sweater pumpkin. This is hands down one of my favorite crafts. All you do is take a utility knife or any type of knife and cut the little top out. These are hollow and then um, I'm painting mine white because this sweater material pulls apart and you're able to see the color and I just didn't want that orange that super bright orange color shining through so I tried to paint it the color of the the leg warmer that I was going to use so you put them in the middle and then tuck each side in now I discovered if you cut a little hole in the middle it tucks in a lot better and I did go ahead and secure these with some hot glue and then took a stem from a different pumpkin and put in the top I love the velvet pumpkins I feel like they have the prettiest stems but these are so easy to make less than five minutes and look so high-end sweater pumpkins are super pricey and you're gonna pay a lot more than the two dollars and fifty cents Dollar Tree is always putting out lots of different like um, of these oil heaters or candle warmers, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I pick them up when I find unique designs. You can actually pair them with one of these glass uh, candle holders and they look really neat. You can make like floral containers or planters or um, even gumball machine looking pieces. So I wanted to make an everyday piece as well as a Halloween piece. These turned out really cute. I used E6000 hot glue to secure it to the stand. You can also use the clear candle holders or just any like solid base that you would like to. Secure these down in place. For the first one, I added some rocks and a succulent. But for the second one, I added a little rub on transfer ghost as well as putting some candy in here. Now, while you're in the Dollar Tree, you can kind of pack around this little candle holder and try the different lids. You can check the like dinnerware section they have lots of little jars with lids or um, I found this little Halloween jar with the lid so something is going to work I've seen a lot of people use different pieces to get a lid that would fit um, and then if nothing else you can make your own lid but to try to make this as food safe as possible I did just find an already made lid put some candy in here but I think that pop of orange looks really cute I 
I don't love super scary things for Halloween, so I always go towards more of like the cute, spooky items. So I picked up three of these jars and I wanted to paint them. Um, I've seen several of these on Pinterest, like painting different jars like this or actually cutting them out of wood. But Dollar Tree putting out pre-made decor like this makes it super easy just to use um, their items and then make them over however we want. I tried to use some soft Halloween colors, so I painted them. The different colors added back on the little metal mason jar top and then painted on the faces. You could easily use your cutting machine, a Cricut, or even Dollar Tree vinyl. You could cut out little triangles and stick this to there. You might can even Mod Podge over it so nothing would peel up. I'm just using a Sharpie and freehanding this. I love going on Pinterest and looking up like ghost face or pumpkin face and just like look at the examples of like what people or how people have drew little faces. That gives me a lot of inspiration, especially doing like Frankenstein because I don't always like remember what he looks like on hand, um, but adding the little stitches. But I think these turned out to be really cute a set of three little halloween friendly faces let me know in the comments down below if you prefer more spooky or more cutesy halloween thank you all so much for hanging out with me today please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one happy crafting bye